There are so many backpacks on the market today that it can be pretty overwhelming knowing where to start, especially if you're new to the carry community. So in today's video, I wanna show you a great entry level bag, one that's not gonna break the bank, but will last a lifetime. So if you need something for everyday carry, for work or for school, or even for a weekend trip, this is gonna be a great place to start. Also, maybe for a little bit more of a niche crowd, but this is also perfect as a dad bag when you're taking baby out of the house. This is the Air City Pack, and it's my favorite bag for under $150. If you don't know Air, they are a San Francisco-based travel brand started back in 2014. They manufacture design-forward bags, backpacks, and luggage, and they're all made with really high-quality materials. Thanks to Air for sending me this bag to try out. If you love this bag as much as I do, be sure to use the affiliate link in the description to snag one for yourself. I've shown a number of Air products on this channel in the past, but the bag we're looking at today is going to be for the widest audience, as I think it can really appeal to anyone. And first off, the City Pack is a great size, coming in at 14 liters. The materials are premium and thick, but it never feels bulky. Also, it's not too small where you feel like you need to compromise on what you can take along with you each day. There are a ton of pockets that make it really easy to organize and quickly locate all of your daily carry items. In my experience, airbags are also some of the most comfortable bags to carry. They have really plush shoulder straps and robust back padding. There's also a magnetic sternum strap for even more support and comfort. It's 18 inches in length, 12 inches in width, and five inches in depth, weighing 2.5 pounds. It has this really smooth silhouette that feels both fashionable yet techy. The bag also comes in three colorways, the black one you see right here, as well as a gray and an olive. And if you're looking to upgrade from your standard backpack, maybe you use like a Herschel or something in that realm, well, this is going to be the perfect gateway bag into that next level of carry. And coming in at $149, it's not going to break the bank like some other bags. And just for good measure, Air also offers a lifetime warranty, so this thing is going to last forever. And here are some of the many features of the bag. So now I want to pack this thing up for a typical day of work so you can get a better understanding of what is going to fit in this bag and how all of these organizational pockets work. Everyone will pack differently, but these are my go-to items when packing my backpack for the day. So as you're watching, try to envision what you might bring along for a day at the office, school, or even a quick weekend trip. Let's start with the most important and expensive item that I carry, which is my laptop. I use a MacBook Air, as I like the slimmer look and the smaller footprint. We'll put this in the extremely padded laptop pocket in the main compartment of the bag. The laptop pockets on airbags are my favorite out of any bag company on the market. The soft lining feels kind of like a neck pillow and it's super protective. Next up is an iPad Pro, which we will place in the elastic pouch in front of the MacBook. And I suggest keeping your tablet in a case because there really isn't any padding in this part of the bag. There are also two small elastic pockets on the front panel of this compartment, and that's where I'm gonna put my chargers. And now that we're starting to feel some of that cooler weather in Chicago, although next week I think it's in the 90s again, but I'm gonna bring this sweatshirt in case I need it while I'm commuting or if it's cold in the office. I have a Talking Heads one here and they're one of my favorite bands. So now that the main compartment is packed up, let's look at the front organizational tech pocket. This pocket is going to be the same height and width as that main pocket, but it's going to be super slim. The first thing I'll put in here is my external hard drive. I've always used these one from Seagate. They're slim, portable, and they've always been reliable.
Next, I'll bring this pen from Altitude, which was a target pickup. I like this one because it also doubles as a stylus and you can use it with the tablet. I'm going to bring my physical notepad as well because I constantly make lists. I like to write these things down because there's something so satisfying about crossing them out when you've completed them. I'll also throw in some wired headphones from Apple, which are my go-tos. Next is my Game & Watch from Nintendo, which I've featured on this channel many times before. And this one has Super Mario Bros. 1 and 2. And this thing is just so portable and fun to play on the train while wasting time. And if I don't feel like playing a game, I'll try to get some reading in. Right now I'm finally reading Girl in a Band by Kim Gordon who is the bass player and singer from another one of my favorite bands, Sonic Youth. I'm so happy I got to see them live many times when they were still a band. Next is this front pocket, which is about half the size of the bag. You'll find a key lanyard in here, and that's where I'm going to attach my keys. I'm just gonna keep this pocket for only that. Airbags also have this great top quick access pocket. And this pocket is overly padded with the same material as the laptop compartment. So you can put things in here like your cell phone or your wallet. But what I like to do is keep my sunglasses in here because this padding does a great job of protecting them. I wear the Ray-Ban Wayfarers as my daily sunglasses. I just love the look and the quality build of them. And then lastly, I'll put my Nalgene water bottle in the designated elastic water bottle pocket. I find this 16 liter one to be perfect as it's not too bulky and it fits really well in pockets like these. So what do you think of the Air City Pack? Would you carry this? Are there other bags under $150 that you think are better? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this video useful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.